Okay, so I hear what Jane Elliott is trying to say, but she's missing key information that kind of makes her look a little ignorant to history. Yes, this land was stolen from Native Americans. Yes, Native Americans did go through genocide, and yes, some of them were enslaved and mistreated by the European powers that came over here. And look, I can agree with her in the sense that all of this land belonged to the natives back in the day. And that is bull crap for the government to be like, yo, we took your land and look, we feel bad, so we gonna give you some of it back. We gonna give you like the little small pieces of land, you know, the parts of the land that we don't want. We gonna give that to you in the form of reservations. You could just have that. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with the sense that that's kind of bull crap and that the Native Americans probably deserve a whole lot more. However, you come across tone deaf and insensitive when you negate attention away from the black struggle, you know, the question about whether or not black people should receive reparations, when you just turn and change the subject like that. You have to keep in mind that it's not just slavery that we're talking about. You have slavery, you have the Reconstruction Era, you have Jim Crow, you have police brutality, you have your, you have Caucasus people coming into our neighborhoods, bombing our Black Wall Streets and our Rose Woods and lynching our people and all kinds of post-traumatic stress syndrome and traumatic things inflicted upon the black community specifically. Even the drugs that they allow to be filtered into our communities with the intent of basically doing us the same way that an exterminator does when they put rat poison in a home so that the mice can take it back to their community and kill themselves. And you know, if we gonna be real right quick, and like I said, yes, the natives, they did go through a lot when the Europeans showed up here. But once the Europeans did their dirty deed, the deed was done, and then they diverted their attention. Guess where? To us, to African Americans. And so we're talking about forcing us to build the entire infrastructure of America. All the railroads, all the White House building, a lot of the inventions that were invented here, a lot of the, manu the manufacturing and all of that type of stuff. That was all us. Literally the riches and the profit that was gained by this country during the time of slavery and during even the time period after that, you know, the sharecropping and then in the industrial time period in which we were forming businesses and then like Caucasus people would come into our communities and burn our businesses down and kill us and lynch us and then take the whole market share from us you know stealing our ideas and all kinds of wealth and just pure treasure that they've stolen from our community specifically and if we were to go down and tally the whole list we're talking trillions of dollars worth of worth that was stolen from us as a community and to be honest, if this was a competition on who was treated the worst in this world, let's be real, black people would win that competition hands down. No questions asked, like it literally point blank period by a landslide. The issue is that black people, we have, especially us over here in America and in the, um, Latin islands and whatnot, we've contributed more to the progress of society and infrastructure and the advancement of technology and styles and culture and all of those things in more ways and in a faster time period than any other race of people on the face of this planet. And yet, as a community, we have not received anything at all for it except for persecution. Not to mention, we didn't ask to be brought over here in the first place. 
I mean, we're talking, if we were to tally up a bunch of things, I'm about to just tally up a few things off the top of my dome right quick, okay? Let's talk about a government wrongfully kidnapping a bunch of people and then taking them to a faraway country and then beating the crap out of them and raping them and doing all this unjust stuff. Like, if something like this was done in today's time, just, just picture it real quick. Imagine a hostile government going into another country kidnapping a family of people beating the crap out of them for like 50 years and then you know letting them go and whatnot you know what kind of lawsuit that family could press on that government how much money they could probably get back you know from the trauma abuse and from the the fact that they were kidnapped the fact that they were mistreated from the fact that they were forced to do things that they should have been paid for you know what i'm saying and so it's like when you go down the list of things that black people have co um, contributed to this country and you tally up the value and the worth of all of those things we're talking trillions of dollars and we're talking a whole lot more worth than land that was stolen from someone like I said, the Native Americans have gone through a lot. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't receive reparations. But, you know, it's very tone deaf to dismiss black people here in America and our claim to reparations for all the mistreatment and abuse that we've gone through in the new world since we've been here. And so, the way I see it, I feel like everybody that was done wrong by the European powers that be needs to be done right. All of us. Yeah, natives should get reparations. As far as they're concerned, all of this land is theirs. I agree with that sentiment. But let's not, oh, we're going to do this first and we're going to do, you know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of people who have been mistreated by a common denominator enemy. You know, the Caucasus folks that showed up here mistreating folks you know once they arrived on the world scene and so like i said everybody needs to be done right everyone who was done wrong need to be done right it ain't a thing of who goes first or none of that stuff because like i said the black community is dealing with a whole lot of inherited generational trauma that have been inflicted on them in a way that was more dehumanizing than any other nationality of people on the face of this earth. And historically, you cannot argue with me on that. And it's kind of disrespectful. It's kind of like a spit in the face to look black folks in the face and tell them, uh, yeah, um, you sit in the back, you go second, you get your reparations later, but we don't worry about these people first. Like, you're, you're not really in the moral standing to even be able to say that. Just do the people that you've done wrong right, okay? Who's ever in your face at the time demanding that they be done right, just do them right. There you go. I'm Elijah Y'all Right. Um, you can subscribe to this channel or you can unsubscribe. Um, you can like this video or you can dislike it. Share and comment. Also... If you are interested in subscribing, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I drop new content. That being said, I will say peace.